Autolite and its 96,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Come on, start talking. I can't talk. I wasn't even here when it happened. Oh, you wasn't even here. Well, where were you? I, uh, I, uh... Where were you? I was a thousand miles from here. I, I was in New York. Yeah, I was in New York. New York. Come on, cut it out. You weren't anywhere near New York. You weren't any place else but right here. Now come on, start spilling your guts. I got nothing to spill. What's going on in there? I got pulled in a car heist. What's the matter with that, Danny? He got a mat on the wall or something? Flapping him around again, huh? Yeah, if a guy don't know, he don't know. Now, why don't he cut it out? Very unhappy man, Dineen. Takes it out on us bums to get right in here. Yeah, well, nobody deserves that unless he's a murderer. Listen, what are you going to do? He's a tough cop. Down at headquarters, they said somebody up here asked for a cop. Oh, no, officer. I'm sure you're wrong. You see, I'm the only person up here. And I've got a cop. Why, Officer Stone, they're lovely. Hey, what's all this? Well, I thought it was high time the cop on the beat got a taste of little Ruthie's mm. cooking. So I said to myself, here's this big lug walking his flat feet off all day long. Why should I drag him downtown to a restaurant? Mm, very Go thoughtful. Ahead, get started. Very thoughtful, but nary a step did your flat-footed friend walk today. Oh? Don't tell me they made you police commissioner already. <laughs> Only six months on the force? Well, I spent most of the day in the back room. Doing what? Lifting weights? Yeah, dead weights. Mickey knocks them down, I pick them up. It's called maintaining the peace. Third degree. It's horrible. Yeah. Well, it's easy to see you're never going to become a good policeman. You got to be tough, tough. That's what Mickey says. Sure. Me? I don't know. He, he doesn't like people. I don't know. But I, I'll never be a tough cop. Oh, what's the song? That's all. You better not be. No, <laughs> don't worry, baby. I'm not mad at anybody, see? Eddie, let's get married right away. Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Not so fast. Soon as we get a little more dough. Look. I promise you we'll be married in six months. Huh? Sure, I was sneaking down the alley and I run into this guy coming down the other way. You should have seen his face when he saw me. He lets out one yell and he tries to jump over the wall. Drops the dough right at my feet. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hey, Stone, I got an extra ticket to the flights tonight. You like to drag along? Oh, you kidding? I'm taking a girlfriend to the movie. Hey, when uh, are you going to marry that dame, Eddie? I thought it was supposed to be this month. Well, we decided to put it off a while. You know, let the bank account grow a little. You don't play it smart, Eddie. You spend all your day in an engagement ring. You got nothing left to get married uh, with. I mean, Ruth got it all worked out. As soon as I finish pounding a beat... You're taking a big chance, kid. First thing you know, some character will show up and you'll be left... Don't around. worry. Ruth will wait. I got the ring a half size too small. It'll never come off. 
Anybody up here calling for a cop? Come in, Eddie. Hey, you know, I've been thinking on my way up here. What do you say we have a real party tonight, huh? Eddie. Instead of a mo... What? Eddie, wait. Well, We've got to talk. What about? About us. Oh, all right, let's talk about us. You know, that's my favorite subject. <laughs> say, uh, you know, uh, I won't be pounding that beat very much longer. A couple of guys got moved up Eddie, today. Eddie, there's something I've got to say to you. Yeah, I know. I said we'd be married in six months. It's six months already. No, Eddie, I've got to tell you. I'm in love with somebody else. Well, that's a lousy kind of joke. I... Sorry, Eddie. I couldn't help it. It's the way things happen. But you're still wearing my ring. I'm sorry, Eddie. I did love you, Eddie. Please believe me. I really did. But after I met Dave, Dave. I... Dave? Hey, who's that? You don't know him. He's... No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Not now, anyway. It... Uh... Look, kid, I mean, wait a minute, that's some kind of a joke, I'm isn't sorry, it? I'm sorry, Eddie. Sorry? What else can I say? Nothing. Uh, Sag? And Scotty. Checking in at Holland Avenue. <laughs> no, I got everything under control here. Right. Sarge wants us to check up on old man Regan's store around the corner. Huh? Oh, Scotty, for the love of Pete, snap out of it, will you? Sure. How long can a guy go around mooning over a dame? Oh, skip it, Scotty. Oh, what are you going to do? Keep it up all your life? Yeah, the rest of my life. Sure. I don't even know who the guy is. What good is knowing who he is? I got a reason. in the back room. They brought in a guy who just knocked over a delicatessen. Eddie's, um, uh, working over him. I got a letter for him. It's from the gal that tossed him over six months ago. Oh, oh ain't that a crock, though, already get hitched, ring and all? Ah, women. Question is, do I give it to him or don't I? He's been luring a pickpocket ever since it happened. Give it to him. It's his, ain't it? You want us to get in trouble with the post office? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd better give it to him. You were recognized running out of that store. It's a mistake. I got mistook for somebody else. You're hard to mistake. There's mistake. a lot of fat men in this town. Oh, listen, friend, we're trying to be reasonable, see? Oh, that's good. A letter for you, Eddie. Yeah? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Last one I got was two months ago. Dear Eddie, it says, can't we be friends? <laughs> Rick, I don't want to be friends. Listen, officer, I keep telling you I had nothing ah, to do with... Ah, shut up, will you? An invitation. An invitation to that wedding. Mr. and Mrs. John Ferguson request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter Ruth to Mr. David Brunner at 4 o'clock the afternoon, January 25th. David Brunner. Try to forget it, Eddie. Don't you ever try to forget it. I'd just like to get him down here in this room once. For all I know, it might be some cheap crook she picked up. It might be somebody lying his head off in this room. It could even be a... I hate to butt into your private affairs, copper, but if you're through with it, Start talking to me. You're going to start spilling your guts before I spill them all over the floor. But I told you I didn't. I, I told you to start talking. Oh, hey, kid, take it easy. That's not the guy. How do I know? You're going to start talking, see, and start talking soon. Well, you still got some teeth left in your head. Hey, 
mean, what's going on in there? Eddie thinks that that guy that he's questioning is the guy that took his dame away from him. It ain't, but he thinks it is. He's going to think that every guy he questions is the guy that stole his dame. When he meets him, watch out. Second act Wait of Tough Cop, starring Barry Nelson. I wonder what's keeping me up. Baby, you're bringing me down. I could go to sleep. I could read a book. Or look for you in Lost and Found. Yeah, there are a couple of songwriters. They're always hanging around here. They're always telling me how their next one is going to be a big hit. A couple of bums. What do you want, another beer? And that maybe it's you When I say hello Some guy wants to know What program I'm listening to Yeah, 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 yeah Got a nice story here What does it say? It's an editorial Tough cop, it's called Very nice writing Very tough writing Read it, maybe we can set it to music About a man named Eddie Stone Tough, the guy says. I beat him up first, cop. I shoot him down and then ask questions, cop. In short, a menace, the man says, this Edward Stone. Tough cop. And what's being done about this menace? Well, that's what the story's about. The police are being congratulated. Clever, huh? Edward Stone is now an ex-cop. Eddie Stone, ex-cop. He has been fired bounced, ejected. He's now a private citizen, even as you and me. Yeah, and high time, the man says. Good riddance, the man says. Never make a song. Pops, why don't you get us a couple of more beers? Sam, the unfriendly bartender, will give us some more credit. Talk to him, charm him. Tell him our next tune's a surefire hit. Yeah, I told him that last week. He, uh, he ain't a music lover, this Sam. Tough, tough cop. Maybe we should have been a couple of tough cops instead of writers of musical comedies that never get written. Tough ex-cop. Ah, Eddie, you know better than that. Not while I'm on duty. Oh, copper, have a joke. Eddie, listen. What? Why don't you try to get back on the force again in a couple of months? Come on, talk it over with the captain. No, I mean it. You can't go around being sore for the rest of your life. Yeah. Well, I got other things to do. You can have the police force. What do you mean by a crack like that? You heard me. Officer, this guy here just slugged me. For no reason at all, he stepped up and slugged me. I had plenty of reason. The guy called me a Okay, now take it easy now, take it easy. Is that right you hit this guy? Yeah, I hit him, but I had a guy got a good explanation. Never mind the explanation. You want him arrested? Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, uh, look, maybe I'd like to. This guy wants to make a complaint, I gotta run you in. He didn't hurt you. What do you mean he didn't hurt me? He hit me. What about it? What about it? Take him in. Come on, Max. Officer, give me a break. Let me phone my wife, will I you? I can do that from the station. Hey, Ivory, do me a favor. Call Ruth. All right, officer, wait a minute. Yeah? Just forget about the whole thing. I don't want to make trouble for her. Well, it's an assault rap if no, you say so. No, just forget about it, that's all. You want to be a man? Yeah. What's your yeah. name, Max? Brenner. Dave Brenner. Okay, Brenner. You get a break this time. But any more disturbances, I run you in. Whether this guy makes a complaint or not. Thanks, officer. Hey, uh, how about a tune, Ivory, huh? Sure, My hands are shaking. Hey. Yeah. What did you say your name was? Brenner. Dave Brenner, wife. And the wife? Ruth. What's this all about? Who are you? Police department. You're under arrest. What? That other cop just got it wrong. You're coming with me. Where? You'll find 
find out, brother. You'll find out. Talking about. Excuse me, Dave, darling, is anything the matter? Hello, Ruth. Remember me? Eddie. Eddie. Well, how are you? How'd you meet Dave? You you know each other? Oh, sure, didn't Ruth tell you all about me? Well, this is amazing. Almost two years. You look wonderful, Eddie. You must be a detective by now. Well, look, let let's sit down. This Charles. isn't a Ruth, social I... call. Oh, your husband assaulted a guy over in a Holland Avenue bar. Oh, Dave, no. Yeah. Why? Because I couldn't take it any longer, that's why. The guy made a crack and I, I hit him. He said, why don't you get a job, Shakespeare? And I hit him. Oh, darling. Eddie, we've had a pretty rough time of it. Dave and Ivory just couldn't seem to get a break. Yeah, it's all my fault. I'm nothing but a hack songwriter. But I, I shouldn't have hit the guy. I, I know... Mm -hmm. Well, this is very touching. But I... well, I'm taking your husband in. Eddie, do you have to? <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? You're tossing me over for a bum like that, and I end up taking him in. Well, what are you going to do? Do? I'm going to book him for assault. Oh, I have a heart, fellow. The guy wasn't hurt. Oh, yes, Eddie, have a heart. You used to have one. Yeah, I used to have one. A great big one. I wrapped it around a gold ring and put it on your finger. And you threw it back in my face. Oh, Eddie. Uh, don't talk to me about heart. Oh, Eddie, now wait. Wait for what? Six months I waited. All the time I was saying to myself, maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe she'll see she was wrong. And then I got an invitation to your wedding. You know what I've been thinking of since then? I've been thinking maybe the bump she dumped me for will be brought down to the precinct. I kept saying to myself, maybe they'll bring him in. And when I get him in the back room, and now I don't have to wait anymore, do I? Eddie, now stop it! Shut up, you... Eddie, don't! Eddie. Oh, that's another rap against you, huh? How do you like that? So, Assaulting an officer. That's what you turned out to be, a tough cop. Yeah, tough cop! I found out what you get in this world, loving everybody. It's a tough cop. Just couldn't stand... A broken engagement, so you take it out on somebody who never did you any harm. The guy who was never going to get tough. You're a coward. You just couldn't stand being hurt. Hurt? What do you know about being hurt? Whoever hurt you? She's been hurt plenty. I made her sit here waiting for me for two years while I was out getting drunk. You think you know what it is to be hurt, copper? You don't even know the meaning of the word. Now, Eddie, please wait. Please, won't you go and leave us alone? Yeah, I'll leave you alone. But I'm taking him with me. Oh, Eddie, please, you can't. Good night, Mrs. Brenner. Don't wait up for your husband. He'll be a long time coming home. Oh, Eddie, please! Please wait! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, okay, you've been walking me around for half an hour. Why don't you take me in? Shut up. I'll tell you when I'm ready to take you in. Hey, what's this all about? You are a copper, ain't you? What do you think I am? You don't want me to answer that question. Well, why don't you call a squad car and take me in? Well, there's just a call box right over there. Shut up. I'll give the orders. Hey, what's your name besides Daddy, anyhow? What do you want to know for? So that I can make a stink when I get to trial. Oh, well, don't worry about getting to trial, fella. That's the least of your worries. Hey, where are you taking me? In here. What for? Because I said so. I got a big idea. What are you going to do? You'll find out. I want to start running now. Oh, why should I start running? You're trying to escape, see? See, you assaulted me, and now you're trying to run away. Self-defense on my part, see? Who's going to know the difference? Come on, get going. Hey, you're nuts. Maybe I am, but get going. Yo, man, I'm home. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Ivory, Ivory! Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Buddy, you got a little drunk. Loaded, Ivory. Ivory, get a cop, will you? 
Get a cop? You already got a cop. Sure, I'll take care of him. Sure, officer, but just treat him gently. He's a nice guy, even though he does drink a little too much. Nighty night, Davy boy. I'll tell Ruth you're in good hands. Ivory, Ivory. Now it's just between you and me, fellow. That was your last chance. All right, get going. He'll remember. Tomorrow when they find me, he'll remember. Shut up. Hey, you're no cop. What? I know a cop's revolver when I see one. You're no cop? So what? Okay, Sarge. Right. Hey. Yeah? Why don't you guys get together? First you're gonna arrest them, then you're not gonna arrest them, then you're gonna arrest them again, then you don't arrest them. You guys can make a person very nervous. What are you talking about? My buddy Dave, a detective's got him in the alley. Detectives? There ain't no plain clothesman on this beat. There's a tough cop that's got him in the alley. Tough cop. Hey, Eddie! Eddie, come on! Oh, he's trying to kill me! What's wrong with you? Are you going crazy? Somebody call an ambulance, yeah. doctor. Yeah. What about mine? Uh, where is he? Huh? Yeah. Uh, tell Ruth. Tell her I'm not so tough. Bullets. They go right through me. Tell her that. Dead? Yeah. Yeah, he's dead, finally. It's a long time coming. Oh, you're uh, the guy, huh? Me? What guy? Never mind, run along. Oh, wait a minute. Tell Ruth what Eddie said. Maybe she'll tell you the whole story. Suspense, A Fool's Heart with Henry Hall.